Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. Look who's here once again. It's Mark from Qualitex. Mark, thanks for joining us again. You're welcome. Now, as you can probably guess, Valentine's Day, we're going to do something related to that. I don't know what it is Mark has got in mind. All I can see is some balloons and things here. So I'm quite excited to see what Mark's going to do. So Mark, over to you. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to show you today some uh, uh, great designs that some of our instructors have done uh, uh, and really to show you about perceived value and how you can really make your store or your business a destination uh, okay. uh, for balloons. Okay, fantastic. So this is a, a little design that uh, I first saw Sue Bowler do, which is a little character, air-filled character, yeah. using a bubble for the body mm -hmm. and a naughty smile and a kiss. 18-inch foil. Yep. And we've got some other components that I've pre-prepared here. Okay. Um, I've used some 11-inch uh, uh, onyx black and reduced them down to 6.5 inches and put them into duplets. Yeah. But one thing I wanted to show you, when you reduce a balloon that much mm. uh, uh, the, the balloon isn't as shiny as when it's fully okay. stretched out so one of the techniques is to just stretch the latex I don't know whether you can see that but the balloon ends up as shiny as it normally would yeah. be so we'll just quickly stretch those out it is subtle but you can see the difference wonderful so I'm going to drop these together into a full balloon cluster, yep. as we've done before. And then I'm going to weight that down with, I've made a little uh, water weight from uh, two balloons uh, and the tap. That's just two balloons, one inside the other, put just it under sweet. the tap and um, then tie that on. And that, that sits nice and uh, easily underneath our design. Make sure I wrap that round all sides and then that's nice and secure in there yeah. without with, with, without knotting okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, one of our new Valentine's Day bubbles there you go I've pre-prepared uh, as we've done before uh, a 260Q taking the air out and that gives me a little uh, attachment yeah. point uh, and we're just going to roll tie uh, the neck of the bubble and tie that off. Remembering with a 260Q to stretch it out when you make yeah. the knot. And then we're gonna tie that directly in to our cluster base. Now do you tie that on or do you just do the wrapping thing again? I'm, I'm just going to do the wrapping thing, but I'm going to make sure I go around each, each of the balloons and I actually stretch that all the way out. As long as it's been around e e each of the balloons, that'll be nice and secure for the body. I just love the fact that you don't have to tie a knot. No, it's tw it, I think it came from twisters, but they, yeah. they never, never seem to tie knots. Yeah, that's excellent. Fantastic. So that's our, that's our base, uh, and we're going to attach to that our foil. Yeah. You didn't so we, see what I did behind there. <laughs> so we'll do a roll tie again with another little bit of half of a, a, a 260Q. Okay. All the way to the top this time. And tie that off. And that's ready to attach. And this is what I wanted to show you, was this fantastic product by Click Click. Yeah. And it's the stretchy tape. And it's so good for attaching two balloons together. It's basically super, 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 super sticky tape. Isn't it? It's a contact adhesive on a tape um, and you don't have to use a great deal. I think in my experience, sort of two and a half inches of, uh, uh, of tape, yeah. which is quite a small part of the roll, is less expensive than using some of the other attachment uh, points yeah. that you might do. Yeah. Uh, and it's easy to use, yeah. which, which is a great thing for making a, a, a time-saving product. Do you mind holding that for yeah, me now, so that. everybody can see? So I'm essentially, I'm going to take, it comes with a sticky backed area which you can partially remove. So you're not touching the contact adhesive yeah. uh, uh, while you're actually uh, placing that on. I'm going to place my uninflated 260Q directly uh, uh, along the neck, uh, uh, the seam of the balloon. Yeah. And then I'm just going to take that on one side and peel off 
the rest of the tape. And give that a good rub down and make sure that you've activated the yeah. glue and then that will give us a really strong so that's going to be strong enough to attach this other balloon to I'm, which is what i'm guessing what yeah can I do? well it's it's strong enough to hold the weight of wow. the, the the balloon with the with the weight okay that's so really really good very good pre-prepared a, a small yeah. cluster and then we can attach this cluster directly to this attachment point And then our final component, we can attach directly into the top. So you could just leave the character there and finished. That's absolutely great, isn't it? But we don't like doing that. We don't like doing that. No, I know, I know you don't like to do that. You're going to do something different, aren't you? So we're just going to add some arms to add a little bit of perceived value to the, okay. to the finished design. And in the same way as we did for the Halloween witch, I'm just going to take a 260Q. Inflate two of these. Don't need to fully inflate them because we're going to keep them quite short. And then we're going to, again, create a small loop twist. Pass the knot back through. Yep. Small bubble. With a pinch twist. And essentially you've got a small arm. Okay. And then for the arm itself, I want to just size him onto the, the body. I think that's still a bit a bit long. Okay, yeah, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is create a twist and let the rest of the air out. Yeah. And then knock that off to secure it. Okay, yeah. Make it look so easy. Practice makes it look easy. Yeah. But actually, for um, retail shops and card shops, uh, display time, you know, you, you will sell what you display. Yeah, true. So actually, that's your practice time. Because this would last in a, this, a shop display for a long time. I, I, if you it? balloon shine the latex, it's going to last for a long time. The bit that's going to last the least amount of time uh, are the arms. But actually, they're the most inexpensive thing to refresh. Yeah, yeah. So you could just change those once they start to look tired. Okay. So to attach these, I'm just going to attach them together, but I'm going to leave a little bit of stretch in between. Yeah. And then I'm going to remove my excess. And then if we can have our naughty smile kiss man back, and just add that back in. By wrapping that round, and you can animate the arms yeah. however you wish. Yeah. That little bit of gap just stops the the cluster being pushed out yeah. at the yeah. top. No, that's 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 brilliant. And the beauty of this design, without that weight at the bottom, if you filled both components with helium. It would probably float so yeah, you could actually yeah. do him as a floaty guy yeah yeah no that is awesome thank you mark for that now while you were doing that you talked about perceived value and that's a phrase that you've used a number of times before so i'd like you to explain a little bit more what you mean by perceived value and also maybe show us how you might add some perceived value to this bunch of balloons behind us yeah i do talk about perceived value a lot and basically uh, the when i think about a uh, uh, cattle of air products I'm thinking that we've got lots and lots of components, all beautiful balloons, yeah. but individually they're only worth X amount. If you put them together and you use elements and principles of design and you make something that has perceived value, you're essentially adding something up 
so you've got the sum of the products are worth more to the end consumer than their individual some of individual me. components yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and in the case of uh, there's nothing wrong the beautiful bouquet uh, a layered bouquet with their new uh, traditional mickey saying i love you but um that can be created in lots of shops yeah, yeah. in lots of different ways so there's two things that you can do with perceived value one is you can add something that's relatively inexpensive inexpensive to add yeah um but also uh, increase the level that that, that that can be sold at. Yeah. Um, but the second thing is you can also attract more customers to your shop because you're the destination, you're the place that people want to buy from. So somebody sees just a normal bunch of balloons that isn't very nicely prepared, that's not had curled ribbon in one shop, and then they see something like this in the window of another shop, and it's got what I know you're about to do um, there as well. It's just going to uh, two completely different products. Yeah. So hopefully yeah. you will see that. Yeah. You know, should we, yeah. Should okay. Let's do, it. On? let's do it. Fantastic. So I'll, I'll take this up here so everybody can, can see. Uh, and I'm just using a 260Q flower. Uh, and we're going to attach that as an inexpensive neck to the collar. Okay. So to do that, I'll take our bubble out. And I'll just add that flower directly onto the base there. Secure that in with the line once. So already again, that looks better. Already it's getting there. Yep. Um, but I actually saw one of, uh, one of the fantastic designers do this once, uh, Alberto Falcone, one of our instructors. All right. He, uh, he got a standard twisted flare uh, and on the end he'd got uh, a spiral. Yeah. A little bit different to the spirals that you've covered on BMTB yeah, before. Yeah, I did the one where you put a 160Q inside a 260Q. Yeah. So this one is created in the old fashioned method where you stretch it out and then you create a spiral by wrapping it around and inflating it wrapped oh, around, around it. Yeah. And the reason is that that's now lighter. It hasn't got the extra weight yeah. of the two So if you're attaching it to a helium filled balloon, then the less weight you have, the better. Exactly. Okay. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to actually attach this straight onto our line by dragging that through the balloon the flower at the end yeah and we're just going to wrap that around <laughs> and it changes visually it changes the design so much that's great we do this to each one such a clever guy Alberto that's fantastic and it's just the way you attach that on as well it's just so simple to add on and essentially, you really are only adding pence. Well, yeah, so for this whole thing, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 260 cues, which is, what, 20, 20 pence, something like that? It's, it's next to nothing. And to me, that really does visually change the, the, the whole look of the design. Let's just move this back over, over here. So from a... A perceived value point of view, if somebody was to add these flowers and that collar, what would you say the extra would be that they could potentially charge, considering it's only costing 25, 20 pence, whatever that is? Personally, I think that I've, I've seen people easily get uh, an additional five pounds for the design. But more importantly, uh, uh, I think that they're then known as the shop that can. Yeah, no. Well, that's fantastic, Mark. Well, thanks very much. Because to invest 25 pence and, and sell it for five pounds, I think that's, that's the a quality decent effect. profit margin there. Anyway, Mark, thanks again, as always, for coming in and showing Wonderful. us this. It's great to see you again. And, and thanks for watching. Hopefully see you again soon. Bye. Thanks. I can't believe where the year has gone. I, I think as the older you get, the faster the years go. So it's been a, a whiz of a year. The main purpose of today's show is to show you and introduce you to Rachel Ellen.